been feeling like, I've been feeling like, I've been feeling like I'm ready for the top. Got the pedal to the metal, I've been grinding non stop. Killing every instrumental, and I knew just what I wanted. Now I gotta go and get it, and I'm never looking back. Only looking where I'm headed, and I doubt it for a minute, trying to get another win. Oh, good morning, everybody. Last night, oh my goodness, you gotta tell you about last night. Whoa. So here's what happened, right? You know, after I, you know, hung up and I had all these, ah, oh, I could have done this. So I figured, you know, I'll go home and put on a dress shirt or something like that. Change it up a little bit, get a little sexier for the evening. You know, got lots of partying to do. Woo, yeah, at the club, dancing. And um, so I changed into a um, pair of shorts and a t-shirt and played some chess. <laughs> I didn't do nothing. I didn't go out at all. I stayed home and just like, Veg with the puppies, man. I don't know. I'm just, just not feeling it. But something really weird happened this morning, so I wanted to share it with you guys. So I look at my table here, and there's an invitation to a wedding. And I'm looking at the names, and I'm thinking, okay, Megan, Bridget, and William Luke in Chicago. <laughs> no idea. I'm thinking, I have no idea. Look at this. Very nice wedding invitation, huh? Pretty. So I got an invite to the wedding, and I put it on Twitter. I was like, guys, is this a thing? I don't, I don't know. How to... And then the people who actually sent the invite, apparently are fans, so if you're listening... Thanks for the invite. It's very honor, very beautiful. Um, so they uh, they just invited me to the wedding in Chicago, <laughs> which is pretty cool. So I told her if she's got you know some single friends that I might be interested in, maybe it'd be worth making the stop. <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, that's what uh, happened there. I've been watching a little bit of the World Cup game. We got what do we got here? Russia and Croatia on the TV. One one, almost done. Penalty kicks coming. Going to head to the gym today. We're not playing the little one for one drop because. Uh, it's a five-day event, and it would take us out of too many of the other ones that I want to play because it's, like, got a stagger day, too. You know, there's, like, three-day ones and whatnot. So tomorrow we are going to play the, um, what is it, the 3,000 PLO. So there is a 25K at Aria today. We're not going to play that. i um, just not feeling up to it. I think I need a little bit of a day off. Uh, probably a good idea, you know. It's a shitty day outside, so I won't be sitting by the pool. What to do? We might have a – I don't even know what we're going to do today, you know could do like a house tour but I, there's so many of those like we've done i've done that a hundred times i'm sick of it so i don't know man i really don't know what we're gonna do maybe creed because we still haven't watched that one yet um but other than that oh maybe uh, i got a couple ideas we might do but we'll see we'll see how the day progresses Whoo, baby that was a good workout i'm starting to feel like my conditioning's coming back a little bit which bodes well for the big month of craziness we might even document it why the hell not do some before and afters. I mean, got a lot ahead of me. I got Barcelona. I want to have, a, you know, the beach body ready by then. Also, I'm a single human being at this point. So, you know, and I'm not that I'm looking. I'm really not. And as far as looking goes, um, you know, I had a buddy come over last night. We were just chit-chatting about different things and like, you know, life and stuff. He's been a friend for a long time. He's like, buddy, you know, you need this. And I'm like, everyone knows everything, right? And I'm sure all you in the comments are going to like fucking <laughs> tell me what I need to do. But I've learned a lot over the years. I'm 43 been in plenty of relationships and I guess you know what I've learned essentially is there's a couple non-negotiables one is you know vegan because it'd be kind of awkward and weird for me to be in a relationship with someone who eats meat not that I'm judging people who do and I realize it's humans have been doing it for many many years and so I'm not going there but I just for me personally it's such a big part of my lifestyle that it would be kind of awkward to have like dead chickens in my fridge and stuff so step one would be um vegan right step two would be something that I've actually never well step two would be more so good dinner conversation because that's really really important you know I feel like I love to go to dinners and have fun and you know have really deep introspective conversations with people but so that's going to be important a level of intelligence that couples with success and I don't mean the woman has to be like financially rich but success in terms of some sort of passion something that she's got going on in her life outside of just like laying around and like doing nothing so those are two you know key things and uh what was it that's like two or three things Successful, intelligent, and vegan. <laughs> All right, well, good luck me. <laughs> Whatever, I'm not looking right. Right now, honestly, I'm not, I, it's not like I would jump into anything with anyone anyways, because it's too fresh, too soon. I'm not an idiot, you know? So um, I'm gonna go back to the house and come up with a game plan. All righty, I got my blitz rating up to a new high, 790, well, I was at 800 a minute ago. Where the hell is this guy going with that freaking clean already? I don't know what I'm doing. Just attack, attack, attack. So. This is me on chess.com, chilling. Puppies like chess. What is he doing to me right now? What the hell, what is this weirdo? Oh, he's a 901, this is one of the bigger 
tougher guys I played. I have no idea what to do next. I have to turn this video off. Alrighty then. What you got planned for me, buddy? What's this all about? I'm trying to take my bishop? Or should I just take your bishop? I don't know. These are the spots. I don't know. Okay, let's see here. Do -do 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 -do. Go up here, over here. When in doubt, just eat it. Eat it. I don't know. Eat it. You eat me. And for me, this is why I suck at chess. I just try to simplify the game by like, you know, eliminating pieces. All right, now you're coming after me over here. You're coming after me over here. All right, we're going to move him a little horsey. Right here. I'm going to do the castle thing in a minute. Mess with this dude. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that was a stupid... All you chess experts are going to laugh at me, but I'm learning. I'm a beginner, so give me uh, some... Cut me some slack. What the hell I did here, or how I got to this point, but I don't know, man. I think I might win. Why is she up on there? Gotta love Jennifer Aniston. All right. I might screw this up, because this, this is where I messed up in the end game, but we might actually beat one of the highest rated guys we've ever played right now. Come on, baby. Figure it out. Don't be dumb. Okay. What are you doing there, dude? I'm going to go... Right here, double attack. Rook in the night. What? What the? What the fuck? What was that? Oh, never mind. I'll just go over here, right? Take his thingy. Yeah, this got to be good for me. Come on, baby. Running out of time, but I think we can checkmate him. Oh man, that was bad. Okay, now wait. Go here. Yeah, buddy. Come on. I don't even know what the hell happened. It said draw. Why draw? I don't want to rematch. I'm annoyed. I don't even understand. I guess if you move to the same place, I, I don't even understand why I draw. I guess when you move back and forth and back and forth, what the hell? I didn't know. I, I guess I guess it was a draw. I mean, that's not bad playing a guy who's a nine hundo and I was an eight. I moved up. 801. Yeah. We learning. Getting better at the chess.com. So we're watching some of the, the coverage here, uh, and this Russian guy is going so hard at Helmuth, and Helmuth does his patented, oh, yeah, you want to play me? Let's play for $2 million. You put up $2 million coal hard cash, and I'll put up $2 million. Oh, stop at the bullshit, Phil. You know you wouldn't put up literally one fucking penny. He just talks a big game like he's going to put up a bunch of money, and then when push comes to shove, he tells you this. He's like, I'm going to get staked for 100% of it, but you have to put up 100% of your money. Just all talk, no action. Oh, look at this. He's all in right now. Let's see what happens. Well, Philly's got the best of it right here. What do you think, guys? Ace King hold. Ace King hold against Ace Nine. I have a feeling he's gonna lose this one. <laughs> Let's see if he blows up. Alrighty, so far so good for Philly to double up and get back in this thingy. On the short stack, he's got about 50k to start the hand. He's go to like 35, 40 bigs if he wins this one. I know that feeling. You see that guy? He's a nine. Oh my god. Oh, poor Philly. He's going to lose his mind now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, now the handshakes. All right. Classy. Attaboy, Phil. That was one of the strangest hands I've ever seen. <laughs> and that's the end of Helmu, so I guess I'll be doing commentary with that guy for the final table. It's 8.30. We've been doing, for the last few hours, a little bit of uh, what I'd call nothing. <laughs> uh, oh, the bedroom, by the way. These curtains have been here forever. Also got, what else I got in here? Nah, nothing interesting. Plan right now is, um, Maria just finished, uh, ooh, it's dark. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Hey, turn the lights on. Hey, y'all. It's dark, so. Um, so the plan right now is I'm going to go meet Maria for a drink. Got uh, suitable clothing on. We're not going to wear, hang on. <laughs> I'm such an idiot right now. How do you do that? Okay, we're not wearing these. We're wearing these, the, the funky Louboutins. 
for the evening. Um, it's been a while since Marie and I went for a drink and caught up, and we've been friends for a long time, so I'm looking forward to it. We always say, you know, hey, we should meet up and catch up and whatever, and then, you know, life happens. And so, so tonight will be fun. She's a good friend. We've been up and, what was it, been up and, been, what's up, boys? What are you barking at? Huh? What are you barking at? Oh, what are you so mad about? What are you so mad about? I'm only gonna leave her a couple hours. I'm not going crazy. We didn't go out last night, remember? Yeah. <laughs> kissy kissies for me. Kissy kissies. Yeah. So anyway, like I said, we're gonna go have a drink at, I believe the Mandarin Oriental is the plan as of now. So here's the deal, like my comment section on YouTube, I erase all the bad ones and keep the positive. Ooh, I like they it. love you. Oh, that's so nice. They say nice things about you all the time. I'm glad. Yeah. I'm fooling everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so we're not gonna lie here, it's um, 1 a.m. Yep. Uh, Maria Ho is what I call my drinkologist. We've had a few drinks. True, Neither true. of us are driving home because that would be a bad no. fucking idea. We preach responsible drinking. Yes, we do. But it was good catching up with Miss Maria Ho. And if you want to catch Maria Ho, you'll find her on ESPN doing commentary. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, we actually, you know what, you know what I respect and love about Maria? She's always striving to be better at what she does. So part of like one of the reasons we came together tonight was she's like, hey, I'm going to do commentary tonight. Give me some feedback. Tell me like how you think I'm doing and stuff. And I thought she did a fantastic job. And I hope you guys agree. So that's going to be the end of this fucking vlog. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, where's that going? Uh oh. Mm. Good night from Las Not driving. Vegas. But we are playing the Parliament, whatever the fuck it is, tomorrow. So, cheers, y'all. Have one for me. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Yeah, we had some drinks. We ain't driving, but we're gonna check out the Poker Go studio because I think there's a 25k, and we'll uh, see who's at the final table. Where'd everybody go? Are they done? No, no, no. Still five handed. Five handed? Yeah. Where are they at? Uh, hey, uh, they're on break. They're outside. Kind of All right. Out. Wait, I just saw you, Chidwick, sitting at the table at the final of the 25K, and now you're here. Are you just like blinding out like Phil Hummus style? No, I think yeah. it was Seth Davies. Yeah. Davies no, no, saw. No, what happened? Seth Davies. Oh, because you guys do alike. look alike. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, that wasn't me. <laughs> Did you just bust? I'm I, sorry. I took the day off. Did you make the money at least? Uh, you don't remember? How many left? There's four. four. There's five. Did he make the money? Did Chidwick make the money? Three, three, four. No, I did. Four people it paid? Four people it paid. Oh, I'm yeah. so sorry. You'll be okay though, because you're good at I, poker. I was in for one bullet though, so it's kind of like <laughs> making money. It's like a fake min cash. Yes, yeah, the fake min cash. Oh,